Hello and welcome to another Max QDA video tutorial. This time we won't just look at how to manage large amounts of data, we'll also cover the fundamentals of using Max QDA's quantitative and mixed methods functions. As an example, this can enable you to analyze the occurrence of codes in relation to demographic data points, such as age, gender, or location. Document variables are the key to this kind of analysis. You can find your document variables by going to the Variables tab and selecting the Data Editor for Document Variables option. The table that appears shows your individual documents in the rows and your variables in the columns. If you haven't created your own variables, these will initially be automatically created variables, such as the document name, creation date, or the number of coded segments. To add your own variables, use this button here to open the list of document variables. Here you can see what type each variable is, and whether it was created by MaxQDA automatically, or by you. You can also determine whether you want each variable to be displayed in the data editor, or even in the tooltips of individual documents or coded segments. Another useful feature is the built-in statistics function which lets you display a vast range of information about each variable as either a table or a chart. You can add your own variables either manually or by importing them from an Excel spreadsheet. Let me show you the manual way to begin with. First, click on this button here, enter a name, variable type, and any potential missing values, and then click OK. Then you can enter the variable's respective values in the data editor. If you happen to have a table of standardized data for the documents, which you've already imported into MaxQDA, you can easily import these variables and their values from Excel. Just make sure that they can be correctly allocated by adding two columns named Document Group and Document Name. The entries under these columns must be identical to those in MaxQDA for the import to work. Normally, MaxQDA should correctly identify the variable type based on the values of the variables. If not, you can adjust this manually after. Once you've imported them, all the variables contained in the table will be displayed and available to use in MaxQDA. If you're planning a statistical evaluation of your codes, you can also designate these as document variables. There are two options here. Normally, the variable value will correspond to the number of coded segments within a given document. In this case, just right-click on a code and then choose Transform into Document Variable. In fact, the variable will remain interactively linked to the code, which means newly coded segments will automatically change the variable value. With this button, I can do the same for all my activated codes at once. The second option is helpful if you have a code whose subcodes represent a ranking or ordinal scale. For example, a satisfaction rating is high, medium, or low. You can also map these with a variable. To do this, just right-click on the upper code and choose Transform into Categorical Document Variable. In the data editor, you can now see that the most common subcode found in the document has been entered as a value. On the other hand, if none of the subcodes occur, the cell remains empty. And if two or more equally qualify as the most commonly occurring subcode, then undefined is entered. In the list of document variables, you will recognize variables generated from codes by the green square in the first column or by the entry in the source column. So how can you now use these variables for your evaluation? You can activate documents by targeting them according to their variable values. You can have the sum totals of segments for each code grouped according to specific variable values. You can have the coded segments themselves grouped according to specific variable values. 
You can perform simple descriptive evaluations, or you can use the stats module for further statistical analyses. Either way, we wish you all the very best with your project.